Hey everybody and welcome to Clay Makes. If you're new here, I make new clay sculptures every week now. So hit that subscribe button down below and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any new videos. So real quick, just to get it out of the way, I have been gone for a few months. I took a little break after a little, some sort of like health issues in my back and everything like that. I couldn't sit down and do sculptures, but I got a little new chair back here. Everything is looking good. So now we should be back on track. New video every single week. We're gonna kill this year. We're gonna go freaking nuts with it. There's gonna be, you know, tons of new stuff, tons of projects with molding and casting and more LEDs. It's gonna be a blast. But the first video for this amazing new year is just going to be basically a rehash of an older video because I've been getting slammed and slammed and slammed with comments and DMs and all this stuff about how to make this, where to get the parts for it. And it's just really simple to do. Anybody can do it and it looks great in the end. So enjoy the video. I'll be back again next week with another video with more casting and LEDs in that sculpture. I'll see you then. So let's start out with a very basic list of things needed for this project. Starting with some fine white glitter, some micro LED kind of string lights or fairy lights. Then we need a little Mod Podge so the glitter has something to stick to. One simple red plastic rose and the glass bell cover thingy. Everything that I use for this project will be down in the description so you can build one for yourself. After giving the glass just a quick clean to get rid of any of the oils and the dirt, it's time to take a brush and start painting on some Mod Podge in sort of organic flower shapes. But make sure not to go too far with the Mod Podge before putting on the glitter or the Mod Podge will dry just too quickly. I found that the best technique was to start with the stems first, then do little clumps of the petal things at a time. It did become easier as I did more of them, and you will see that I started trying to make it look perfect, then realized that the more organic and sort of loose it was, the better it looked. Also, I got tired of pinching the glitter and just started pouring it on top. Now you can take this as far as you want, but I did just one layer on top to make it look more dimensional. This way it plays with the light a little bit better, but if I had to do it again, I would have spent more time on more layers. I made sure to leave it a little bare in the middle, just so you could see the flower a little better. Now on to the lighting. These fairy lights have a large space between each LED, so I folded the wire over to get the lights just closer together. I really wanted there to be a lot of light on the glass. I also placed the LEDs towards the outside edge so the glass rests on the LEDs. Now it's time to light up the rows using the same method of bending the lights closer together. Then it was the process of pulling back the petals of the rose and gluing the lights at the bottom of each rose petal. I don't want the lights to be seen, I just want the flower to glow. Now I took the rest of the lights and wrapped them down the rows. After I painted the extra lights and wire green, it looked like little vines and little rosebuds. Then to make the whole thing glow a little more, I coated the base in sort of an eggshell color, making sure to get all the wires, but not the LEDs. Now this step gets a little complicated and it's not really necessary. When the lights are out, you wouldn't even be able to see the wires anyways. 
but you could just glue the wires around the edge, paint the base black and call it a day. But I wanted to take it a step further, so I drilled a hole through the base and cut the cable to thread it through. Then I cut off the extra lights and soldered back on the battery box. Make sure to use some heat shrink tubing to keep everything a little neat and prevent shorts from happening. For the rose, I wanted to make it look like it was floating, but it turned out I couldn't do what I had planned on doing. So I bent the stem and glued it down, doing the best I could to make it look like it was floating when the lights were on. Then it's just the same process with the red lights as it was with the white lights. Then it was time to put on some Mod Podge on the base and lay down a good layer of glitter. Then you can call this project done.